Okay, um, task 28, events and interactivity, we're on page 58 of the PDF. So, we go over to page 58, oh it's up a little bit high. So, basically with events and interactivity, a lot of this so far has just been the program running through its steps. But events are when you do something, how the computer will react, whether you're hitting a key or whether you're clicking on it with the mouse. So, in this particular um, routine here, there's a subroutine called on mouse down. The graphics window will show a message, you clicked, full stop, comma, hello, end sub. So that's the subroutine that is called when you um, put your mouse down, when you click down. So we jump across to the compiler and here it is. And I run that code and it brings up a blank window. I click on it and it says you clicked. Uh, and hello is the name of the window. So, but I can, that'll just keep running again and again. Whenever I click, that will happen. So, the interactivity is, it doesn't do anything until I do something and then it reacts to it. Which is a different type of programming than what we've done so far. Okay, so the next thing we can do is, on this particular one, rather than putting up a pop-up message, you can actually say the subroutine is, when the mouse goes down, that x equals the spot where you clicked, minus 10, and that and y equals where you clicked on the y-axis, minus 10, and th in the graphics window you're going to draw an ellipse and you're going to make it at x-y coordinate, so it will be where you clicked, and it will be 20 by 20. So basically wherever I click it will read the coordinates and it will feed that into drawing an ellipse, which in this case is going to be a circle because it's 20 by 20, so it's going to be round. So that's our second piece of code. Let's have a look at that. There it is. I've just and we'll run it. And sure enough, there is a 20 by 20 blue dot. Now the next thing that I've done is I have created a bit of code based on this. You know, as I've been wanting you to do all along. So same deal as before. On mouse down, you're going to run the subroutine on mouse down. So when you click it fires off this subroutine. I've changed it to say that the brush colour will equal a random colour. X and Y will be the same as before. They'll be the same as what you just created. Except, I just realised, hmm, let's make it, I just had a bit of a thought here, minus 10. The reason for that was to get it in the middle of those 20 circles. But given that um, I'm getting random numbers here for the size of the circle, then A Let's make that um, minus a divided by 2. And let's make that minus b divided by 2. So that it will be in the middle of those shapes when they're made. Because they're not going to be 20. They're not going to be 20. They're going to be a random number up to 100. So it's going to create the random numbers and what we'll do is we'll just move that ahead so that they get created first, although I don't think it will actually matter. Uh, and then we'll work out the coordinates where it's going to go. Uh, and I think I've just put some junk code in there. No, it'll be right. And then it's going to be at X, Y, which are those coordinates, and it's going to have the random numbers for A and B for how big it is. So let's see what that looks like when it runs. Let's see if it actually runs. Ah, it worked. So those shapes are in the middle, if you notice, of my mouse. And they are using random, random value to calculate the colour, and also it is a random width and height. So that's just adding a bit of interest to it. And you know, you could play with that and sort of, you know, feel a bit artistic if you wish. So that's the end of that, and I look forward to seeing what you create.